What's up everybody and welcome back to my let's play of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword in the last episode We've learned the song of the hero and completed up the final trial the goddess's silent realm here on Skyloft and opened the way to the Triforce which has been right under our nose the entire time here in the final dungeon now real quick before we head inside I want to show you guys that I've uh, switched around my inventory just a little bit. I went ahead and got a Stamina Potion Plus uh, for something a little bit later on, as well as replaced our uh, spores, like our Mushroom Spores, Glittering Spores, with the Potion Metal, which will help when we use these two potions a little bit later on, or when we need to use them a little bit later on. So uh, we'll never have to come back to Skyloft where you're completely co prepared for the end of the game. But with, that, with all that being said... Let's do this. So welcome to Sky Keep. And uh, they're kind enough to start us off with a chest, which uh, isn't too shabby. Uh, so uh, let's just run on up and uh, open it up. They, uh, yeah, they've nice enough to give us a chest right at the start, and inside of it is actually the dungeon map. And uh, yeah, they're even nice enough to give us the map right from the beginning. And as you can see, there are eight square rooms in this entire place. Master, I have information to report. I've detected three sources of sacred power within this building. This power clearly radiates from the Triforce. I've tri triangulated three sources of power and marked them on your map as triangle. Lots of triangles going on there. But alright, so let's head over to this little panel here and you'll see that uh, these three rooms right here that are all marked with a different symbol and a different color are um, actually all the three different rooms that have the Triforce. You see the triangles on our map show us where the Triforce is. Uh, but we can, uh, turns out we can uh, grab these things and kind of uh, move them around a little. Um, actually, let's do this. It's just a little hard to do with uh, a pro controller instead of uh, motion controls. But let's uh, put this Triforce, Triforce piece uh, right here. Master, I have new information for you. Analysis indicates that the shaking you just felt was caused by a change in the building's structure. Now that the building structure has been altered, it appears you can enter the adjacent room. Yes, yeah, so this entire dungeon is built upon the fact that uh, we just have to uh, move these different rooms around in order to make our way to the Triforce pieces. Approach you use this control panel to move through the structure and collect the components of the Triforce. I just repeating what I said now uh, I want to back away from that for just a moment you'll see there's an X on the map anywhere you see those little X's which is in pretty much every room that doesn't contain a Triforce piece give or take the this room right here uh, every single one of these rooms has a control panel so you kind of want to make your note of where those are ahead of time and kind of use that to kind of navigate your way around so the only uh, you can't enter rooms that don't have the adjacent little knobs on the doors. You may have seen the little knobs on those uh, little um, on those little panels that we use. Those show you the doors entering uh, each different room. Well, actually, we need to uh, cut this down over here for really. Are, are you kidding me? Um, this is supposed to. Does it really not... Am I supposed to use my beetle? I've never used my beetle before. Uh, apparently so. Um, I always use my bow in the original version of this game. Strange. Uh, well, uh, I guess that's new and interesting. And uh, we haven't fought one of these guys in a while. It's another skull to... Oops. I hit him one too many times. 
All right, stab him and no need to even do a finishing blow. The Master Sword is so strong, doesn't even matter. All right, now let's uh, shoot you when you circle back around. All right, in the face too. All right, um, but as I was saying, uh, you can't, uh, you can move around like so uh, between the different rooms using those little nodes or like the little knot yeah the little nodes on the different pieces to kind of show you which rooms you can enter which ones you can't let's grab this bomb there we go and this should kill all three of these guys if we drop it in right here yeah I heard multiple things drop they're definitely all dead But you use those, and uh, you can't move the room that you're in. So, like, we couldn't move the last room that we were just in. So you kind of have to keep that in mind in order to navigate your way through this place. And uh, let's go this way. Here we go. See if we can get a good enough push there. And we've made it. First things first, hit this to make sure that we can go back to the entrance of this room. As well as, uh, there's a goddess wall here that I should probably activate first with my harp. It would, it would make sense if I activated it first. And, um, I mean, heck, we don't really need anything else. But I'm still greedy and I'm still going to draw some rupees in hopes that we might get some money out of this. Uh, no silver rupee. But, uh, yeah, even though we literally have no need for rupees anymore, uh, we're still gonna buy that anyway. So, uh, now let's head on into this area over here. And actually, the only reason I moved this door over here, if you've played through this game before, you obviously know that this is not the correct path. But I did want to show off two things. Master, look over that way. First off is this design carved into the floor. There is the Mark of Ferror. I detect the sacred power of the Triforce emanating from its vicinity. To reach the area that it, the mark is located, I propose you pass through the door in front of you. So I uh, just want to let it no be known that uh, one of our objectives here in Skykeep is going to be fi to find a small key. Well, um, if you look at your map, it should be pretty obvious. Small keys are only obtained from chest. Well, there's only two chests in this entire dungeon. One is here, and uh, one is here. So uh, we can either find a way to move this guy all the way over here next to us, or uh, we can make our way kind of all the way around into these different rooms. And obviously, we can't go out uh, this way. This door is blocked off. And I did not mean to do that. You, I just kind of turned around and there was the ledge. All right, but uh, I just wanted to make that known that that was kind of one of our main objectives. So we should head back into the first room and move the uh, building around just a bit. All right, now actually, I've never tried it before, but I wonder if there is a way to move the one room with a chest in front of us. All right, so I think if we do this, though. No, hold on, I, I know of a way we can. Oh, I got it, I understand what I want to do. No, I don't think I can actually, I think we have to yeah, we'll have to do this, and then we can't really attach anything else from there. So we'll just enter this room for now. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think there's a way you can actually move this room out of the corner until you move this room. Uh, and so, uh, and I, I was right about that because you don't have a, like a three-way space once you move that, but once you move that one up... Uh, you're locked out of all other moves to make with your pieces other than move it back down. So, uh, we can head in here and then head this way. And this should take us into a brand new room. This room, by the way, obviously was a, resembled the, um, Brown Woods Skyview Temple. 
And uh, the second room, the piece with the Mark of Ferror, uh, obviously had uh, kind of a resemblance to the ancient cistern. And this is obviously the Lene room mining facility. I'm going to run straight past you guys in hopes of avoiding you. And then, yeah, you're going to leave me alone. Sweet. And I actually want to kill one of these guys for once and, like, actually get their gear or, like, their items that they, like, will give off. Because they drop a ton of rupees and we've never actually been able to, uh, get the rupees that they have until now. And he just dropped one. Uh, wow. Alright, so we need to do that. And, uh, I reckon we should just go up and see what's going on up here. Aha! Uh -huh. Those markets on the floor will definitely tell you where you need to place the orbs. So just be on the lookout for those. Alright, we come over here. This conveyor belt is now moving. As well as the gate is open. And we need to be kind of quick. And follow this thing up this way. As soon as we step on this, we'll just put the orb out, and we can continue on forward. Right, I believe I need to place that there. And take it that way. Because we can't carry it with us. And I can step on this. And I should just barely be able to move it farther. Yeah, in here. And then we can close the gate, no problem. We'll leave that guy down there to do his own thing, I guess. Uh, pull out our bow. Shoot this switch up here. And uh, open the gate. Yeah, these rooms are pretty small and actually fairly straightforward. Uh, as long as you kind of remember how a lot of the puzzles went and uh, the respective dungeons that they're kind of like... Um, Reflecting in a way or in a sense is what I mean uh, Then you should be fine because all those puzzles we would have seen in something like um, uh, Well the mining facility Which has been so long ago now. It's kind of crazy. You know, it doesn't seem like it would be Oh, I think actually I have to shoot all these Now I have to get this thing to go in reverse order though, because uh, there's two switches that I missed. Uh, right back at the start of all places as well. So now we just need to wait just a little bit longer. And uh, we should be able to hit this switch, as well as this one as soon as it uh, kind of opens up for us. I did not want to shoot that last arrow. Uh, wrong item. Where's the whip? There it is. I don't know why I forgot where the whip was for a second. I just missed it the first time. Nope. Use. Come on, Link. There you go. And uh, now we're just going to bring this thing. Well, actually, we don't need to bring it anywhere. Uh, now we can move the rooms uh, like we want to. And I reckon we should try to uh, move this in such a way uh, that allows us to uh, back this way hmm okay I can't I know the two moves that uh, rooms I won't be able to move are these oh, I got it we'll put this room here and then this room can come here, though I would have liked to have been able to enter from this door. I don't think it's actually possible uh, to be able to face it to where it enters in here, though. Hold on, if I... I actually want to try something like this, because I want to see... Yeah, I want to try this. So uh, let's do that, and then actually go back in the way that we came. I know I made a cut there, but uh, we should be 
in order to keep this video not incredibly long, uh, this temple will definitely need some cuts. Because, I'll be honest, even though the temple isn't necessarily difficult in any sort of manner, uh, it, it kind of can be in some regards. So uh, let's head all the way back through here, and uh, this should take should take us into a brand new room. And uh, yeah, this is the uh, Earth Temple room. All right, and uh, we'll need to go this way. This room is fairly straightforward as well, though it definitely mixes elements from both, because uh, there was really two dungeons in each main reg region. Sorry, not region, region. Also, we should be able to check our map here to figure out where to go. This is a nice little green open patch here with an enemy, probably. Nope, just a bomb flower. Roll that right down to the other end. And that should be all that we need. And there we go. That should yeah, open the path to the other room. We couldn't even get in there anyway, so yeah, glad we came this way first. Alright, sweet. There we go. And uh, this should be yeah, a digging spot to uh, open the gate from earlier. Sweet. There's also a Dark Lazalfos on the other side of that door, which is great for us. It's really not. I, I don't like fighting these guys. Any Lazalfos, period. They're kind of hard. I'm not going to lie. Uh, their arms are hard to figure out how to fight these guys properly. We could parry though. And it turns out we killed him, so it doesn't matter. Ooh, and we got some bombs. Sweet. Um this area is fairly simple. Uh, simply just blow up all these different things to uh you have to roll this bomb around all the way down, up, and it should fall in. No, alright. Uh you gotta find just the right angle. Maybe try to go up more. Yeah, get it to build some momentum. And there we... It did really just, like, fall on the edge. Alright, I'll give it a little bit more of an arc to it. Maybe that should help it go in. Again, really. Um, Alright, third time's a charm. Go a little bit more to the left. It's pretty precise, actually. There we go. Got it that time. And there's a second switch that we'll have to hit with our slingshot because my bow and arrow is out of arrows. There we go. I barely got it that time. That took longer than it should have, but all right. And this one, I'm just going to shoot from here. Though I don't think that's all of them, no. I should have known it wasn't all of them. Actually, I think we need to go this way anyway. And yeah, climb up, so I don't know why I sat there and shot at that thing forever when all I had to do was run in here anyway to climb up this way to make our way through this area. And uh, cut down those. As well as uh, cut down those. All right, and we should just drop this inside of here. That should, should be the uh, last switch. I'm actually just going to send my beetle over there this time. It's quicker, and I don't have to aim. And with that, that opened the uh, gated door over that way. And um, can I get down over here? Yes, I can. I can just run and jump. And just barely make it to. Alright, yes, we need to go this way. And hopefully, there's not a mole dorm down here. Alright, one, there's a path back this way that we can activate. Which I think is maybe what we want to do. Actually, can you hit these things twice? We've never had to hit them twice before. I figured that that would blow them up. 
Oh, no, it doesn't. Um, well, I honestly never knew that. Well, I mean, I did know that at one point. It's just... This is like the only circumstance in which you would ever have to do such a thing that you kind of don't remember that you need to do it, I guess, if that makes sense. And all this does is take us back around this way. We can hit this switch. Move the gate back. And uh, make our way back out of this uh, little hole here. Alright, so let's uh, make our way out here. And that should actually open the way to another panel. But I don't want to use it because I kind of set up everything how I wanted to. And uh, yeah, this leads us this way. And to another digging spot. Wow. Um, I was about to say, there's definitely a mold dorm down here. Oh, there's two. Even better. Well, let's uh, kill two birds with one stone then. Oh, he almost got me there, too. Wait, hold on, Link. No, Link, turn around. No, I just missed him, too. Come on, pal. Okay, I'm just slamming the wall, and there's one down, one to go. Hopefully don't come my direction here. And there we go, I cut him off right there too, that was pretty incredible. Actually, that entire last bit right there when he came across our corner was just banking on the fact that he wouldn't come towards me because he definitely could have he he has that motion uh, he could have turned right at me and just chomped me to pieces and uh, that would have been it for me uh, but uh, I got lucky and he was so mad that he just kept moving forward and that puts us here but I don't want to do that at the moment instead I want to try to uh, go through here and see what happens if I move the panels this way and open up the door uh, to the left first because I don't think I've ever actually attempted to do so before I'm sure someone else has and maybe it's slightly faster trying to move this room that way is what I mean by the way it's kind of a, a long loop around really if you think about it uh, but there we go got that there and uh, that's actually good uh, we're done there and that should put us right here. Sweet. Now, I wonder what happens if we enter in through this side. Aha, the door is locked. I figured as much. That was a waste of time. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut back till I've readjusted these rooms so I can enter this room. Uh, on the other side because uh, that's the next place that we need to go. It's got our chest that we need. So I'll see you guys once we've done that. Alrighty guys, so this is the kind of situation I have in these rooms at the moment. And uh, what I've got it set up as is we'll just run through, head into this room, get the chest. Um, and we'll have a node here that we can use to activate, but we'll immediately be able to head directly into the first room with the locked door and get the first piece of the Triforce. And then uh, that'll pretty much, uh, and then we just have to make our way into these other two rooms. But other than that, um, I've kind of set it up to where we can just kind of immediately move from this room to this room. So let's uh, backtrack just a little bit and head back into that other room. I reckon I shouldn't test these things on camera and I should do them beforehand 
but I kind of like to bring you guys along for the ride. I mean, sure, it takes up just a little bit more time, but I can make cuts and different things like that, so it's not as long for you guys. But anyway, here we are. And uh, we got another one of these fights. Uh, so just like at the uh, uh, the pirate ship, kind of, we have another fight. And then we can knock this guy back as far as we can go. Continue to uh, knock him backwards. And uh, first sword's gone. And he'll pull out the other one. This fight's going to go exactly the same as last time. And this guy's name is... Uh, Dread Fuse, by the way. I don't think I ever mentioned that. Oh, he attacks twice. And we actually stunned him after that, crazy enough. As long as you just kind of keep swiping up, I've noticed that that's like the best way to swipe. And uh, there goes his arm. So, of course, now he's using the hook. So just like last time. And that can also be electrified, and it doesn't matter. There he goes. Yeah, so obviously the intent of this room is to come in to fight the mini-boss of the dungeon, Dreadfuse. To then be able to enter in this door, which is the one we were just on the other side of, to open up this chest, which of course contains that small key that we were looking for. And uh, with that, um, I actually think that uh, this is a good place to end off this episode. So in the next episode, we'll be heading to the final three rooms and collecting the pieces of the Triforce, and hopefully rescuing Zelda. So, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch... That's not my outro. That's that's not my outro. Alright, so uh, yeah, next episode, Triforce, save Zelda, I think, you know, make our wish, that kind of thing. Um, but with that being said, that's pretty much going to do it all for this episode here, guys. So if you guys did like this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. It's up to the channel a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please do consider subscribing. Once again, guys, my name is Connor. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. There we go. Got it that time. Also, it's quiet in here.